Today we're going to be doing a review of Firefox Quantum. It's a relatively new web browser. It's the latest revision of Firefox, but it is pretty much totally different from the previous versions of Firefox. So yeah, we're going to talk about that today. But first, I would like to leave you guys with a card up in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you click up there, you will be able to watch my Battle of the Browsers video, which includes Firefox Quantum if you want more of a numbers based comparison between browsers, whereas this is going to be like focused on Quantum itself and not just how the browsers compare between each other just in raw performance. This is going to also include a lot of aesthetics customization and just usability of the browser. So. Yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So to start off, I wanna talk about kind of the main thing that I like about Firefox Quantum, and that is the customizability of it. You can actually like place all the buttons and everything, all the search bars, URL bars, wherever you want on the top portion of the browser, just by going into the customize menu and just clicking and dragging things over onto there, clicking them and dragging them off of there. And you can just make it however you want it so that you can do work in the web browser as fast as you can. And it just really helps with efficiency and just having everything where you need it. I also really like the Firefox environment for syncing between multiple devices and everything with a Firefox account rather than Google Chrome. I just don't like that as much and with Google Chrome it seems like it isn't as consistent. When I'm trying to access a page that I just had open on my phone sometimes it's not there in Chrome and then I'm just gonna have to navigate to the page anyway and not just be able to pull it up from the kind of multiple browsers area, I don't know what you'd call that, but where you can see what's been open on all of your browsers across your devices. In Firefox, it just seems to be much more consistent, and I just like using it better. Also, Firefox does have very good plugin availability. Um, probably not as good as Chrome, but it has everything that you're going to need. Um, basically, the only things that it doesn't really have is kind of some of the joke ones that aren't really going to help you with productivity, but most of the productivity plugins are going to be there, and they're going to be able to help you um, modify the browser to make it more like what you want it to be. Also, Firefox is the web browser that my university develops for, so all of our web apps and everything are designed to run in Firefox. They'll work in Chrome, but they just work a lot better in Firefox, so that's another plus side to me using Firefox instead of Chrome. Now let's get into some of the cons of using it. The first con, as shown in the Battle of the Browsers video, was that it is a RAM hog. It uses a ton of RAM compared to other web browsers, with only three tabs open and just kind of normal use case scenario, it was using well over a gig of RAM, which is like not acceptable by any means. For me, that doesn't affect me that much because my computer does have a lot of RAM in it since it's a pretty high spec workstation. But for a general user, that's gonna be terrible. That's gonna use up most of their RAM. Most computers for general users only have four to eight gigs of RAM. So that's gonna be quite a bit of that RAM used up just in the web browser. And if they're gonna be multitasking, they're gonna be using up even more RAM. So th that's definitely a problem, but it is a rather new release and generally with new releases they aren't as optimized when it comes to memory usage. So we'll see that go down as updates come out and yeah, so there are hopes for that in the future to be resolved, but that currently is a con that if you do not have a lot of RAM in your computer, having a bunch of tabs open in Quantum is going to affect that. And from what I can tell, this problem is derived from like Google Chrome's <clears throat> RAM problems, although Quantum currently is outpacing Chrome with these RAM problems, but it's just because each tab in Firefox is its own program essentially, and that's what it looks like in the task manager. You can see there are multiple instances of Firefox for each tab that you have open, so it's basically a compilation of a bunch of different programs running together to make up all your tabs. Um, and that just inherently is going to use more RAM, but it is nice to be able to have it to where if a tab crashes, it doesn't crash the entire browser, like with Internet Explorer and Edge and all that. Um, you do have that function, and also it's just easier to click and drag the tabs off of the main page and open up multiple windows just by dragging tabs off of that. And I do like web browsers that do that. It's just it needs to be better optimized to not use this much RAM, because Google Chrome can do it better. And Google Chrome is a known RAM hog, so it's that means it's really bad if Google Chrome's beating you in the RAM efficiency spectrum. Another con is that it isn't the fastest browser out there. Google Chrome has shined beyond Quantum in all of my tests, 
and Quantum is one of the most well-rounded browsers out there. It scores very high in almost every field. It doesn't really have any shortcomings, but it just isn't the fastest. Google Chrome beats it in most areas. So that's just something to consider. If you need a super well-rounded general use web browser, Quantum is probably for you, but if you're just needing something that's gonna be super fast for doing like Java things and whatnot, Google Chrome still beats Quantum. So in conclusion, I'm gonna use Firefox Quantum because I just really like it. Um, Speed-wise, it's not the fastest, and it is a RAM hog, so I wouldn't recommend it to anybody who doesn't have a considerable amount of memory in their computer. But if you do have quite a bit of memory and you like Firefox Quantum, I would go ahead and use it because it is a pretty nice web browser, and yeah, I like it. Um, otherwise, if you don't have a lot of memory and you're looking for a fast web browser, I still would recommend Google Chrome or the old version of Firefox, although I'm not a huge fan of the older versions of Firefox, that's why I always used Chrome, because I just really didn't like Firefox until Quantum came out, just because I didn't like the styling and I didn't like how it functioned, and yeah. I just like Quantum, because it's taken a lot of the things I like from Google Chrome, put it in there, but left a lot of the things that I liked about Firefox there too, so it's kind of the perfect web browser for me if it was more RAM efficient and was faster at executing different web tasks. If you guys found this video helpful or liked it, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you like the content on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have comments about web browsers, leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.